the vertical line test. So our objective for this video, we want to use what's called the vertical line test to identify the graph of a function. So basically we're gonna be given a graph, okay, and no other information, and the question is, is this the graph of a function or not, okay? Well, what do we know? We know what a function is. A function is a relation in which each component of the domain, each input value, each x value, corresponds to one and only one component of the range or output value or y value. So for example, the input value of three can only correspond to one output value, perhaps five. It can't correspond to five and seven and negative two etc. It can only correspond to a single output value in order to be a function. Okay, and as a reminder, a function relates an input to an output by a rule. Okay, let's talk about how this, where this vertical line test comes about. Because each component of the domain, because each x value corresponds to one and only one y value, in a function, this tells us that no vertical line can ever cross the graph at more than one x value, at more than one place. Okay, and this is the, called the vertical line test. If any vertical line intersects or crosses a graph in more than one point, the graph is not underline that, although I also wrote it in all caps, the graph of a function. Okay, that's the vertical line test. If I throw a graph at you, if you can draw at least one vertical line that hits the graph more than once, it's not a function. Let's take a look at four examples here. Okay, get my, my okay, there we go. Use the vertical line test to determine which of the following are graphs of functions. Letter A. Well, you'll notice if I draw a vertical line here, if I draw a vertical line here, 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 it doesn't matter. There is no vertical line that crosses this graph in more than one place. Okay, this vertical line crossed it only here. This vertical line only crossed the graph here. This vertical line only crossed the graph here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all vertical lines intersect the graph at only one point. I don't know what this, I don't know, I don't know what the name of this graph is, but I do know that it's a function. Okay, it's the graph of a function. So all vertical lines intersect at only one point. That tells me this is the graph of a function. Okay, and again, I don't know the name, I'm just looking at its graph without any other information on the graph. Letter B, okay, we want to draw vertical lines and we want to see if we can draw a vertical line that touches at more than one place. Well, this one's pretty easy. Heck, the y-axis already crosses. The y-axis crosses here, here, and here, but I'll draw this one. Okay, I just need to, I just need to have one. If one vertical line crosses at more than one place, it is not a function. Well, this vertical line crosses here, here, and here. Okay, so let's say here, let's, let's uh, I'll make a little note with an arrow. It only requires one vertical line. This vertical line intersects or crosses 
the graph at three points. It just so happened it's three, it could be, you know, two, if two is enough, this one happens to hit three. So this one is not a function. Okay, using numbers. Okay, let's pretend that this vertical line has an equation x equals one. So the input value is one. Well, if this is one, and this is two, and this is negative one, the input value of one has one, two, three output values. And there's no rule that makes that happen. So because the input value of one has more than one output value, it is not a function. But the vertical line is very quick, okay? Letter C, okay, you can again see all vertical lines only touch the graph in one place. This is a graph of a function. And in letter D, again, it doesn't take much to see. The x, the y-axis hits it here and here. You can also draw one right through the middle there if you want to. Uh, you know, it, all you need is one vertical line that crosses the graph in more than one place. And that tells you that whatever the, whatever this is, whatever this is the graph of, it is not the graph of a function. So the vertical line test, very useful to find, to figure out whether or not the graph is a function very quickly.